Hey guys, welcome back to Farming Simulator 17 with me, Brad M73 on Sandy Bay 17. We got some. I thought this was like a unicorn at first. It was like running by that, not that one, this one. Is it a unit? It's probably not, but no, it's like prancing around like la li la la di. <laughs> it's like a not. It's not a very detailed horse. Look at look at this big square. Uh, wow. Yeah, not a very good one. Um, let's see. What do we got? What do we got to do for today? I think we are do. Oh yeah, we are doing the mowing and the subsequent. Oh, we need to do for, before we get the mowing. I need to. We need to f finish off the plowing on this field really quick. So let's do that really quick. Because I want to get the cedar so that we can go out and start seeding the uh, oilseed radishes. Which are probably just regular radishes. I don't know. I didn't even know what a cover crop was until last year, so... Yeah, that's how much, that's how little I know about farming. Um, so happy late Easter, guys. Um, hopefully everybody had a nice Easter if you celebrate such things. Um, I had a great Easter with my family. Um, I actually took some really cool drone footage. Um, actually just generally good family video footage. Um, which I'm not going to share with you guys. I, I might do like a quick... I might even throw some like drone footage in with this video. For all you guys know. You guys wouldn't even know. I don't even know until I do the video. I don't even know till I do the video. Oh, 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 oh. Um, so I don't know. You may be seeing some drone footage right now. Uh, but it was pretty cool. Um... I actually got some footage of this, this what I call a rain wall. It's basically like when there's a big, you know, rain cloud or storm cloud, and the rain is coming down, and from the air, it basically looks like a big wall of rain. It looks really cool, and uh, so anyway, I got I got that on video. So I don't know. You might be seeing this. You might not be. Uh, <laughs> it just depends. It depends on how motivated I am when I. Um, go to to do my editing uh tonight and also if i remember because sometimes i forget to, to do that kind of stuff but it was pretty cool and um i made a nice little video for my family members and they they were all like man that is so cute <laughs> and uh, not only of the drone footage but you know family stuff too so yeah we had a nice time good food um the the about the worst thing was when I drove excuse me when I drove home uh Sunday night you know it's like an hour cuz where my cousins live they're out by where our farm is and which is about an hour's drive from here so anyway I was driving home and it was like crazy hard rain the entire time and of course like you know a mile and a half from home it finally starts absolutely raining cats and dogs there is flooding in the fields um i didn't hit any flooded spots but you know definitely there was some hydroplaning on the road going on so you had to be really careful and i'm lucky i've got really nice tires on my car that really you know it's very difficult to get my car to, to hydroplane and lose control so um, thumbs up for my car tires. I don't even know what kind of tires they are. I used to get the Goodyear Triple Tread. The I think it was called the Assurance Triple Tread on my own car, my old car, but um, my newer car, I don't know what they. I don't know what kind of tires are on that. It seemed, it seemed like they were like it was like some company that I'd literally never heard of before. Hey, I don't think we need. I don't. I. I don't think I need to, to plow and cultivate any of this other stuff. Oh, I also noticed 
There was a Coon DLC update. Um, for those of you who have the Steam version of the Coon DLC, um, it will should update automatically as long as you have updates enabled for your game. If you don't, you can just go into your... Um, uh, you know, your, go into Steam, go into your you know, game library, right click on your game. I think you click on preferences or something and then you can go in and um, you know, select, you know, make sure that uh, you have updates turned on. If you're on console and you have the DLC, it should update automatically. You shouldn't even have to do anything. And then if you have the um, digital version or, or disc version, you'll have to up. You have to download the patch from uh, Giants. Um, it's also possible that you have the Steam version, but instead of purchasing the Steam the Coon DLC through Steam, you may have purchased it directly from Giants. Yes, you can actually do that, and in that case, um, you would actually have to just like if you bought a CD or digital download, um, you would need to. Um, you know, get the DLC pack directly off the uh, Giants website, or the update off the Giants website, which is actually what I have to do because because I don't know, that's just the way they do things. Alright, we need to find, I need to find the cedar. Where is the cedar? Where is the cedar? So we get to put this little thing away. I'll just drop it right there, and then let's go ahead and put the front weight on here, because we might need some extra front weight. Now, where in the heck is the cedar? Is it down? It might be down by the fields. I think it's down here. Let's go, let's go drive over here and see, because I'm not really sure. So yeah, we had a good um, good Easter weekend. Great weather up until the evening when it started raining. Um, went out to the lake, got some really good drone you know footage out at the lake, which was pretty cool. And um, just had a good time. Just had a nice time with family and all that good stuff. So that's all I can ask for. Did I already put? Let's see. Fruit types. Okay, so it does not look like I've planted anything except on field 14. Let's go over here. I really... That looks like it could be the cedar up ahead. Though I'm bouncing around too much to, to be able to tell. Um, I'm pretty sure that it is, though. That looks like a cedar to me. Let's back up and click. Let's see. Okay. Um. I think I want. Yeah, let's do these things. Soybeans. And then we can go ahead and course play this again. So. Um. Oh, we go over here. Working with. We'll just do whatever. Let's see, this is field 13. Um, starting corner is northeast. Starting direction south. And I'm going to do. We'll just do five headlands. That way, maybe we won't get stuck over there on the right. So actually, this header is a lot narrower, so I'll just do the maximum. Not that it. Yeah, it's not really that big of a deal. So now we go back over here to the course play control and then go to first waypoint and drive the course. I think the first waypoint is down here. Oh, wait a second. I need to put it on fertilizing seeding. Yeah, it's, it's not just field work. It's actually fertilizing seeding. All right, now it'll work. Let's close this out. And it's... <laughs> For some reason, it always does that. It always like extends and then retracts. Um, oh, let's do a quick look at our route here. 
Yeah, see how we're going to go around so many times, we're going to avoid this bump over here so uh, we shouldn't get stuck. So I think the next time I do the harvest, I'm going to add more head or, uh, headlands so that I don't have that issue. So anyway, we're going to come down here and hopefully get started. All right, so there we go. And uh-oh, why are we using... Let's see here. Let's automatic. Let's do this manually and then I th is it Z that's no, not I think I might have to hold on stop driver okay now let's see let's go to current waypoint and drive the course the reason why I don't want the, the ridge markers out is because when it starts going back and forth, it, the ridge marker could destroy some of the seed that we've put down, and I don't want that to happen. I, I actually feel like I'm like a farmer, and I'm just looking back at the, you know, at the seed or making sure everything's going okay. So I'm going to put out, I should, while I'm processing this video, I'm probably going to edit my next Millennium Falcon video so that I can get that up and get that posted by tomorrow and post this video tomorrow on Wednesday. And, um, yeah. Okay, let's see how things are going from the outside here. Everything is looking good. All right, I'm happy. Let's go and let's do some mowing and some baling, I think. Yeah. So let's see, let's go. Hey, we're all turned on. <laughs> giddy, giddy, giggity, giggity. <laughs> and uh, away we go, I guess. But now that we've got, you know, a decent mower, we can go around while, you know, other things are happening and, um, and make a lot more money and get more of that loan paid down. That's, that's what's more important to me is just being out of debt, getting that loan paid off. Um, oh. 76. Yes, there's like. Oh, that's where we left off before. Okay. It works best. Okay, we're open. Oh. Now, let's go look at the fields again. Um, apparently we also own this field number four up here. So what I might actually do is drive up there. Let's see, we, we have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then there's the eighth bale that we need to wrap. Which is down by the fence. Which I, th I, I just have a feeling that that one's going to be like a big pain to dig out of there, especially without a front loader. Now, we should have enough money, though, that we could go and buy a front loader now. That's that's something. Um, 57. Fifty-eight. I'm just counting the percentage that the uh, baler is full. Oh, I love this, man. I love it. Finally gonna make some money. Some good money, too. Uh-oh.
Alright. Where is the bale trailer, by the way? Did I leave it in the barn? Uh, I bet I left it. I bet I left it in the barn. I would really, really, really super love it, though, if we were able... See, there's the other bale right there. See it off to the side under the tree right above the baler. Sixty six, seventy. Booyah. All right. So, what we're going to do, I'm going to raise that up. Um, Disconnect this really quick, and we're gonna go get our bale wrapper. Yeah, I'm, somebody was like, "Don't quit your day job and become a rapper." And yeah, I, well, I wasn't planning on it. Not, in, not even in the slightest. All right. So we're going to have like tons of bale wrapping to do this episode and bailing and all that good stuff. And I totally forgot what, oh no, I didn't forget what time I started. I didn't forget this time. Now I was supposed to record the Goldcrest Valley episode tonight. Because we're, you know, making some money on that one too. But I was so excited to come and like, you know, harvest all this grass that I just I was like, nope, I can't do it. And this actually might be kind of the excuse that I'm looking for to buy some grass equipment for for my other map too. So I don't know, we'll see. I love this thing, it's so cool. Let's see how, looks like we're just about on our third head, oh, hey, you missed a spot. Looks like it, we're about on our third headland. I had to guess third or maybe four. Well, actually, we can look and see. We are on our yeah, we're on our third one. So that's actually going to make the field a lot smaller, and yeah, I think it's just going to work out better. I think it's going to end up harvesting more quickly. What? That's not done. I thought he would be like you know waiting to waiting for me to eject the roll, but I guess it doesn't work when you tab out of your vehicles. Okay. Ah, nope. See, one thing that's going to be nice on, like, on field four, if I end up course playing that and it's a really big field, I can just, you know, go and do my mowing and bailing on one tractor and then either come, well, I'd just come back and, you know, manually pick the bales up. Would not really be that big of a deal to do that.
would not be oh, I love this thing I love using this tool it's so cool I gotta pick up that bale over there go I wonder if you can drive over the the bales too fast you know like if I'm going too fast it'll just pass right between the uh, the thingy mood do bobber here the wrapper I doubt it though. It's probably like just you know. It's probably just like the bale picker upper, the bale trailer, the baler trailer, whatever it's called. All right, so let's drop that off. Let's go get the bale picker upper trailer, and <clears throat> I might want to go and buy a front loader. We're gonna have to see because oh, I do need to get a bale fork because I need to get that. Yep, there we go. Oh shoot, I don't have a I don't think I don't think I can put a, a front loader attachment on this. I think this tractor is too big. And the other tractor is busy and I don't really want to get him out of whatever he's doing. Not really that big of an issue. Go. Yeah. have one technically two bales left over okay all right so right now we have I'm getting my calculator out because I want to um, 8,705 and it's going down because we have a, a hired worker but that's all right it's gonna give us kind of an approximate value we were like 30 bam 22754 So that's over $14,000 right there that we just got from those eight bales. Um No, we want to turn that off. So now we could if we wanted to, we could go and um get a front loader but just doesn't really make that much it doesn't make sense to at the moment um, what I am going to do however is we're going to drive over the field number four we got to get out here and open this up Fourteen grand, not so shabby. Now I'm just going to take the bale trailer over here. We're going to drop it off for right now. And whoa, this is a big field. I don't even know how course play is going to approach this. Like, does it come all the way out to the fence or what is it? How, what? 
How does it even? <laughs> How does it even, Brad? I don't know. I think if if we zoom out, see how see how the uh, field kind of changes colors right there. I think that's kind of like the boundary of the field, but I'm not positive. So we're gonna have to we'll look at that really quick. And what I'm gonna do is we're gonna get the courses out of here. I'm gonna put this back on field work, and I'm just gonna. What in the world? Go. Um, is this field four? Calculate edge path. There we go. Starting corner is the. Looks like it's the southwest. North, and we'll just do like six headlands again. And we're going to calculate that, and I want to see. Yeah, it's not a very big field. Oh, I see. It kind of just goes right up over to here. So let's go and. Eh. <laughs> I mean, I can go and get the equipment and have course play do it, but then I'm not going to have anything to do. Eh. I'll just have to like drive around in the truck and get the combine situated. Or something. Um, let's see. What do we got? Don't have anything in there to do. Everything else really is just the uh, you know seating and getting ready for the next. Um, I don't want that. Getting ready for the next. Uh, the you know the next seeding because we're going to have to cultivate in all the oil seed radish to get the fertilization bonus there. So we'll see how uh, course play... Uh, I'm going to start this this route off with course play. I want to see how it, you know, how it does. Okay, so. First waypoint. I hope it turns both pieces of equipment on. Okay, so it looks like, okay, there's the first waypoint. Okay, I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say this field is way bigger than it looked. Look how freaking big this field is, my gosh. It's huge! And it looks like the, um... It looks like the, uh... Oh my gosh! Oh my god! Yeah, we wow you. I'm in the matrix. Okay, that is weird. It's like he should put a cliff there or something. Exactly what I wanted to do. This is this is awesome. Awesome. All right, let's see how everybody else is doing. Look at that. He's almost finished. Not. Um, it looks like he is on the last headland. And there he is. So now we're just going to be going back and forth. Uh, we got a little bit to fix on the field, but that's, n you know, the less I have to do manually, the more I can hire somebody to do that. See, this is kind of why I wish Farming Simulator had 
employees that you could hire that had different skill levels um, so that you could, you know, either teach them or, um, you know, send them off to college for a week. <laughs> and they would come back with, you know, an, an additional 10 or 20% proficiency. Um, I just think that that would, whoa, what is going on there? I just think that would be a far more interesting way to handle hired workers. You know, they wouldn't make as many mistakes, and so you'd have a higher yield, and so on and so forth. So, if you're listening, Giants, if you are listening, they're not listening, are they? <laughs> I didn't think so. Now, is this our field? And if so, can we get in there? We can't. Oh, I can. I walk over. It can apparently jump the fence there. Can I get in here? It's like, oh, yeah, I can get in there. Is this part of, like, field seven? I mean, that's weird. It's weird that just we just have this grassed in area. See this, if we wanted to mow this, what we could do is just get a, a vehicle and drive and like drive around the boundary and then have course play figure out the course and it could just be like some random field. Um So anyway, let's go Take this somewhere. Eh. I'm not a big fan of this pickup truck, that's for sure. I would actually rather sell this truck, oh brother, and buy a tractor. Then I would, um... Uh, keeping it. Let's, I'm gonna. I'm gonna just drive this down. We got twenty-one thousand eight hundred. That's gonna drop down a bit. We're gonna have a bunch more bales coming in pretty soon. Whoa. And I mean, we don't need like a big tractor. We could get like a a, a burr, burr, or you know, the old school case tractor. Hopefully, I don't accidentally sell this. Oh my gosh, twelve thousand! So that's only going to give us, um, you know, thirty three. You know, through we'll just say thirty three. We'll round down to the nearest thousand. Um, to buy, whoops, to buy a tractor, we need at least 45. Um, let's see, we got 75, 88 horsepower. Ninety-nine horsepower. That wouldn't be a bad one. Wait, where did the this one is a hundred and two thousand? Really? I mean, it's 145 horsepower. I was not thinking that that was that much. Um, this one's 110. However, I can bump that up to 138 for 125,000. And the, wait, is that what we have already? Or no, we got the we got the bigger one than that. So, like, it would not probably make sense to buy like a Dutes Far. Um, 143. Because the newer tractors are just going to be more expensive for the horsepower that you get. So we have one, two, three, four, five. We're going to roll away. Six, seven, eight. So what? One, two, three. So I'm looking. One, two. Three, four, five, six, se seven. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, oh, seven, I guess. 
See, I thought that all of this field was ours too. I was like, yay! Look at all that that we get to do. What in the world happened here? Ah, I see right there. So right here is going to be another 14,000. So we just kind of got to hang in there. Man, I totally thought that those tractors would be way cheaper than that. I really I really thought they would only be like 50 or 60,000. So wait, what's the cheapest one again? The cheapest one is the Hurleyman, 110 horsepower. Oh man. Um I might does this see this doesn't really have a requirement for horsepower. Um does this. This apparently does not either. So We'll get some more bales out here. And then I think I'm I think I'm just gonna go for the little Hurleman. The cheapest tractor that we can buy. That way, you know, we can kinda get some more work done and we can sell it back. You know, it's gonna pay for itself, I think. Um, in the meantime, let's see, what is in here? Barley. How much barley do we have? 27,000 at Little Ham Stores. That's where we'd want to sell it. Um, we also have a good price on soybeans, or yeah, soybeans at Goods Depot. Unfortunately, the only piece of equipment I have to pull it there is the, <laughs> the combine, so. Well, I wonder if I can pick up the trailer with the combine, the bale trailer with the combine. That would be epic. Oh man, this trailer might be just tons of fun to uh, back in here, being that it's like a rear steer. The combine's a rear steer. I don't know, maybe it won't be too bad. We'll see. All right, here goes. Uh-oh. Unload. Okay, where is this goods depot? Oh man, it's like way down there. Well, um... Let's go ahead and we're gonna sell... Yeah, we're gonna just sell that. I know it's going to take us a while to drive down there and back and stuff, but I mean, we don't really have anything better to do at the moment, so we might as well just do it. Okay. And again, this is like part of the grain that we we have when we you know first started oh can can we put we can put waypoints on here can't we bag place yeah there it is i don't know if you guys can see the kind of the light shaft there I can still see our worker down on field 13 is still planting seed. You can see him at the top left there through the trees a little bit. Getting, getting everything done.
This is kind of like a big piece of a, a big, slow, heavy piece of equipment that really shouldn't be doing, you know, driving this, this far. But that's all right. We're running it. We're keeping it in working condition for the season. Not too worried about it. Okay. Now we're not going to get too much for this. We'll get, you know, probably um, ten, nine or ten thousand, maybe. Because we have a little over six thousand liters, and what was it like seventeen, seventeen, eight, almost eighteen hundred liters? Eh, maybe we'll get ten thousand. That'll put us up to roughly 31,000. But again, you know, we are using money uh, to hire workers and, you know, also for the seed and the fertilizer going into field 13 at the moment. Watch out, lady. Oh, I almost had you. The heck is that? What are these things? Is that like a crosswalk light or something? Like, here's the crosswalk, people. We're going to go on up here and... Ah! I thought I was over and far enough. I guess I was not. My bad, but don't send me the bill. I'll look at the wall. Ooh, I wonder if... Oh, there's nothing up in the hole. That's what she said. do ba ba do ba boo da boo kind of feel like reading some user comments. Let's see here. Let's go look at some of the the, the, the previous Sandy. I better turn the mute button on. Look at some of the previous episodes. Oh my gosh. I didn't bring any water in. Why did I not? Why did I not bring water in with me? We got like less than 20 minutes left anyway, I think, so... Let's look at the user comments. Yeah. All right. See how much we're going to get. Yeah, a little over 10. Oh, almost 11,000. 10,758 from that. That's pretty good. Anthony uh, O'Neill says, Hello, Brad. Great video, as always. Did you know that Field 4 is grass? Yeah, I do now. Thank you. Yeah, the, he must have been the one that mentioned that to me. And thank you, Anthony. And we are making money on Field 4. And it's all thanks to you. <laughs> um, Judson Underwood says, Don't quit your day job and be a rapper. So thank you, Justin. I wasn't planning on it. Um, Brett Sutton says, uh, hi, Brad, been watching your FS videos since the beginning of 15 and I absolutely love farming with you along with you. And, um, I thank you, uh, Brett just wanted to say putting out such awesome content. And if you ever wanted to a multiplayer world then let me know, um, I think the line starts way back there. I get so many people that, um, that send me messages about doing a multiplayer series, it's it's absolutely incredible. I'd love to do it with everyone. I just, it's just not possible. Um, you should also start sharing your media across all social media. Uh oh. 
like Snapchat and Instagram and Facebook and all that kind of stuff. Um, it's not really that simple. Uh-oh. Okay, I think this is where we're going to need to stop the driver because it ain't going to work. There's not enough room. So I think what I'm going to do is we're going to disconnect this. Well, first of all, let's get the let's get this guy back. Let's get him back to the farm and then we'll worry about we'll worry about all this other stuff. Um let's see here. Um L1 Gaming asks Hey Brad, I just got a notification that Farming Simulator 18 is available for pre-order for Vita and 3DS. Um, are you going to do a video detailing what's in it and what's not? And um, I replied, nope. And just to just to elaborate on that further, I don't have a 3DS or what's it or a Vita or I think it's coming out on even another system, but I, I don't know. I don't have either one of those, and I'm not going to go out and spend hundreds of dollars on either one. Um, just to do like a preview on the new farming simulator because I don't I don't have the equipment to be able to take video off of those devices and so on. So no, I'm I'm not really going to be doing that. Um, I would love to be able to do do it for like iPad or iPhone. Um, I don't know. I have an iPad too. I think no, I have an i. It's I have the first Retina iPad. That's the one I have. And I don't know that it's good enough to run farming sim. It probably is. I don't know, but um, but that's what I have. Um, I'd have to do some research to get the you know to get information on how to screen capture an iPad. I know you can do it, um, and I I would just have to see you know I'd have to do it, see how it works, and then see if it's going to be. Like a monumental pain in the bafufu, especially because they're not you know standard sixteen by nine screen format. They're kind of like this weird. Uh, it, I don't know if it's sixteen by ten or what it is, but it's a little bit more of a square format. So it might not quite lend you know lend itself as well to you know video editors and stuff. Again, it's just something I'm going to have to look into. Um, I wouldn't hold your breath though. Because I just don't... I'm probably not going to play on uh, mobile. Um, Tommy Miller says, Love it. Thank you, Tommy. Uh, Terry Abbott also says, You own Field 4. It's all grass. So I guess to uh, Terry needs to share credit with um, Anthony on the Field 4 thing. Because I, I, I know I saw his comment now that I've read it. Um, Terry Abbott also says... Inspector mod is now available for Farming Sim 17. Um, I'll have to look at it, look for it in the uh, store. Um, every time I get in, log into the game, I just absolutely forget. So I know I'm a noob. I'm a forgetful noob. So anyway, um, I'm gonna try to you know figure out figure all that out. Um, let's see. All right. So he's going. See, he's almost done. He's just gonna few more passes up and back he would actually be done if it weren't for this big huge area where the headlands uh headland was all right now we have to go get the bale wrapper and i guess we'll just have to kind of manually wrap bales now I'm so thankful there's not cars going up and down these roads. That would make it so much more difficult. Um, we gotta get the wrapper and the and the bale picker upper. Well, that stinks because I can't do the maximum amount of... Wait, where's the bale trail? Oh, the bale trailer's over at the other thing. That's right. Now, 
Now what I could do now is I could draw like a new arbitrary field. Ooh, maybe I'll do that. Okay. All is not lost, guys. All is not lost. But let's let's wrap some of these up because um, we might be able to get enough money to buy that new uh, trailer or that new tractor. I mean. Probably not by the time we get done wrapping all these bales, but it'll only take like another extra bale. No, don't go anywhere. So basically what I'm gonna have to do is, see how we kind of have like this square field here? What I will have to do is create a new course play route. Oh man, he's gonna roll off into who knows where. Why are these bales rolling all over the place? This is not what I would have wanted for my bales. Um, let's see, Johnny Rocker says, this is great. Try, try new things and equipment. That's kind of what I'm doing um, with this stuff. Because I've never, I've never really gotten into bale wrapping before, or rapping about bales. Booda peepa booty bow boo. Is that one rolling too? They're all rolling away. What is up with that? Like this must be like a really slanted field, I guess. We got one, two, three, four. This will be five. So what I think I'm gonna try to do, if if we can get this other tractor, it all kind of it all hinges on that for the moment. How much is it again? Forty-five thousand. All right. One, two. Three, four, five, okay. Now as long as they don't go flipping over the cliff, that will that'll flip me out. That would not make me very happy. Now what is... What is this device right here? I guess it's like some kind of bale wrapping cutter or something like that. I don't know. See, look. That might be like... Um, it might have one of those metal filaments that gets like super hot just to melt and cut the plastic. Kind of like on a shrink wrap machine, if any of you guys have ever used a shrink wrap machine. Um, you know, if you've ever worked at like a video game store or like a Best Buy or something like that where you have to repackage and rewrap products for security reasons, you'd use a shrink wrap machine and it has kind of like this that clear plastic uh, wrap that you wrap the product in and then there's a heat gun or heating machine that will cause it to shrink. 
Um, but when you wrap it the first time, there's a, a hot, basically like a hot metal filament that wraps it. And, um, yeah. All right, so I think, I think we've got enough, should have enough bales. So let's go and pick up what we have and sell what we have. And I'm hoping, hoping, hoping we get, we can get this little Hurleman. I know what some of you guys are saying. You're probably like, no, not the Hurleman, but it's going to allow us or allow me along with you guys. So us. Um, it's going to allow me to um, to move forward more quickly. I don't think this is going to work. Um, I'm going to close the gate. Got to close the gate to get in here and get this one. There we go. Four. Five, six, seven, eight. Okay. So it looks like I wrapped nine. We probably have nine more out there somewhere. Okay, and bam. All right, <clears throat> time to head back to the farm. Oh no, we're almost out of time. Last week I went like 10 minutes over or so. I can't remember, 10 or 12 minutes over, um, which is pretty crazy. I usually don't like to do that because I know some of you guys do enjoy the really long episodes. Um, you know, I don't like, I usually don't like to do them that long, you know, unless I'm doing like a live stream or something like that, which I was thinking about live streaming tonight, but then I was like, yeah, I don't really feel like live streaming. Like I did so much live streaming in October, November. It's like I live streamed myself out for the next year. <laughs> See, if I don't have enough to hit 40... No, I'm not going to have enough to hit 45,000. So we can come back and we can pick up this last bale right here. That will put us over the limit. And then we'll be able... To, I'll be able to um, get started course playing with a different route on, on field number four. And I'll show you... Well, you guys will see what I mean when we get there. Oh my gosh, 45,000. Let's go ahead, buy this one. You guys are like, ah, Brad, you're crazy, no. Well, here's what we're gonna do though. We're gonna come out here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy this last, ow. I'm gonna <laughs> buy the last, or buy the last, I'm gonna pick up this last, Bale, we're gonna sell it, which should give us what seventeen hundred and sixty-four dollars. Seven? Do I say seventeen hundred and sixty-four dollars? Yes. Yes, Brad. Yes. Uh oh. There we go. 
All right, so I'm gonna take this back. I'm gonna get this guy course playing as fast as I can so that I can get, you know, so I can get that going, picking up the bales. Uh, my worker is probably finished on field 13. Um, he looks like he's finished. I don't see him moving over there. We're going to have to check on him before we leave. It's been about an hour, so we're just going to go really quick. Get, um, get the course playing on this guy's setup. I might just go ahead and do the bailing off the, you know, off screen. And um, I'm not going to do all the wrapping and everything. Because uh, I know how much you guys like watching me wrap bales. Actually, I like watching me wrap bales. What am I talking about? It's somewhat hypnotic. Um, Alright, so let's just go ahead and get the baler here. And if we looked at this, we can kind of see this course outline, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete the course that we currently have. And I could even I could even record this completely um, on my own, and it would not be a let's see here. So let's see. We're gonna say start course recording. And what I should do? I should turn on the waypoints here. And we're just gonna drive this boundary, right? Kind of like this. It doesn't have to be perfect. We just wanna know where this field boundary is. Now, we're, now, with this, I'm creating a completely customized field boundary. And then, bam. Um, let's see. Stop course recording. So now we have this course. Let's see. Hopefully, I hope I'm doing this right, because otherwise I'm, I'm going to be... Let's see. Okay, so field edge path is the currently loaded course once we go back here to course generation. So we still have the same working width. We want to make sure that um, it is centered right here. I don't know why it keeps pushing it over to the right, but it does. Um, this time I'll just say northwest. We'll go east. And then we'll do the same amount of uh, headlands and bam, then we get all of this. So right up here, we can see the, um, uh, and something weird is gonna happen right here. I don't know exactly what yet, but something strange is definitely gonna happen. And so it's gonna go off and do this thing. And apparently he's still doing something. I don't know what it is he's doing. What is he doing? He's turning. Oh, did I have did I have him? Oh, I might have had him go to the first um, course. All right, so here we've got our little Hurleyman. This is the cheapest tractor that you can buy in the game. I love these old style tractors, though. I don't just I don't know why I just do. And just really quick, we're going to drive him up to the field and. Hopefully get him started to support the field operations up there. And worst case scenario, I may have to do that course play, redo that course play route. I don't think I should have crossed the uh, endpoints like I did, but um, it's not going to be like a huge problem, I don't think. Look at that. Look at the. I love how there's like a little diagram of the tractor on the dash. Like how, wait, did I just drive? Oh no, it's up here, okay. I'm like, did I just drive past the start, or the, the start, the turn in for my farm? 
Oh no, can we beat him? Yes, we can. And we're just going to we're going to grab the wrapper and we'll just wrap a bale and we will be all ready to go for the next episode. Which I'm like actually dying. I like I almost want to record another episode right now. <laughs> I just didn't it's like it's like once you get some good strategies to make money on your fields, it's like then you really want to you know, do that on your fields. You know what I mean? Yeah, so he's going... Okay, I can see the baler up there. Looks like everything's going okay. Hopefully he is bailing. Um, what is he doing? Okay, there's the first... Or there's a, he just dropped a bale off there. I'm happy to see that. I mean, so far this little tractor's trucking around pretty good. Uh, hopefully he's he's not going to have any problems lugging any of this equipment around. So far so good. I'm happy with this. Bam. And there we go. All right, guys. Well, we'll see you back um, in a few more days for another episode of Farming Simulator 17 on Sandy Bay 17. As always, please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I am Bradham73. Bye for now.